Hey everybody, the augmented scale was derived from where? If you know the answer, leave a comment down below. Let me know you know it, or if you don't know the answer, leave a comment as well down below saying you don't know. I'm just curious how far I need to dig down into these these lessons, these um, short lessons here. So if you don't know me by now, I'm Donald Witt, the bass instructor for the online course I want to play bass.com, where every day I'm helping aspiring bassists reach their bass playing goals. So if you don't if you haven't checked it out, check it out. And subscribe down below here as well. I've got lots of little videos and tips that come out on a regular basis base is funny but we've got it there so the augmented scale an interesting scale and it's been around for quite some time and we've got some colorful stories to it um, as well the augmented scale that the augmented meaning a raised pitch so the raised fourth of the major scale that raised fourth is a tritone Back in the day, that was not the the it wasn't the knowledge wasn't there, so they didn't know what in the world that was. It just didn't sound correct, and they weren't used to it. So they actually banned it from the augmented fourth being played in churches because they they termed it the devil's devil in music is what they called it, and it was. Just what it was, just like I say, lack of knowledge. So, you know, it's early days, the Renaissance period, even in the Middle Ages, I'm sure that it was around, but we know for sure that in that period of time, it was banned from churches because of the, the dissonance in that sound there. And it's, you know, it's not just the augmented scale, it's even, even in the diminished scales that's there, that tritone is there, but the augmented fourth was definitely banned from churches at that period in time. But one of the big um, earlier popular compositions was the Faux Symphony by Franz Liszt. And he's considered one of the world's first rock stars because of his high power. He's a pianist that just very flashy and dazzling. So he was considered one of the first rock stars around and you should check him out Franz Liszt and the Faux Symphony is a composition he did real popular and it was using the augmented scale to to make that symphony work because he was that's what he he played on that that dark side somewhat he was that's like his stage presence he was ahead of his time actually because of his stage presence and his stage performance he knew how to how to get people's attention and that's that's where he gets the label as being the world's first rock star. So that's Franz Liszt. Check him out. And the Faux Symphony is the name of the composition. So we're going to get into the augmented scale. is also called the, the minor third half step scale. Because of the, ma the makeup of it. It's also a symmetrical scale. Like the diminished and the dominant diminished scales. And... It right there, the minor third half step. That's all you need to know. Anytime the minor third half step, another minor third half step, another minor third half step. It's a hexatonic scale, meaning it only has six notes. So it's it's not not your typical seven note scale or eight note scale. It's your six note hexatonic scale, it's like your you know the uh, the hexatonic scale, six notes, including the not including the octave. And like I say, it's a colorful scale. The half, the semitones there help give it color, and it's unique because it's it has the you can use a major seven chord. You see a major seven chord, bam. Gives it color. The, the half steps there will add color to that, that right there. So you've got your major, your major seventh chord. That's your major.
major seventh outlining the major seventh chord right there, C, E, G, and B. And then if you throw this, you throw that scale over top of it, effectively, tastefully leading back to these, these main outlining chord notes of this chord, it works very well. It has a lot of color. And it's got the, you can incorporate the major feeling, the sound, and the minor all in the same, same lines. The minor major chord, you can throw this augmented scale over top of that as well. It's um, very, it can be used very, and work very well. It's not used as much as the dim, diminished scales as today, but it's still unique and I enjoy using it a lot. It's just just use those passing tones just for a second just to get you to the 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 main tones and then it works very well. So that's the that's the one thing is the, the finger position because it's kind of unique as well because of that is the minor third, the first step. So it's a kind of a big jump, you know, it's a hell you're in your, you stay in the first position though, so it's it's not too bad, but then you've got to slide out of it. So the the most effective way is to first finger, fourth finger, slide into it, third, second finger, third finger, first finger, second second finger. And then you can go if you got your six string, five string. So that is the augmented scale at its best. Use it whenever you see augmented seventh sharp five chord. You can use it over, like I said, the major seventh chord, <coughs> minor major chord, dominant seventh sharp five. I might have just said that. They augment it. It's dominant seventh sharp five. And just use it. Use it tastefully. It can be used tastefully. You just Working in your ensemble, just depending on your how the other musicians are voicing that particular chords in there, will affect on how you can use it in a tasteful manner as well. But definitely, being a bass player, stick with. If you're not sure about it, you know, step out every now and then and, and take a chance on it. And it might not work out. It's and that's all right. It, it might not work out. Half the time it's not. But you're gonna learn something from taking that chance. So. So step out a little bit, keep the keep the structure of the tune going with your roots and everything. But every now and then you can slide out of there just to try it out. You've got to experience. It. You've got to experience. You've got to take risks in order to get better. So that's how you're going to learn. Is you're going to learn what's what not to do as well, and then you don't do that anymore. You don't keep doing it. If you learn, if you see that, don't keep doing it. Just learn from it and and use it effectively, and it works out. It works out perfect. And over time, the experience you have, you'll you'll know this interval will work nice over this or over that, or this scale will work nice over this over or over that. Over it's going to take some time, some experience, and just a lot of dedication and just laser focus and. It can, you can definitely make it happen. The relentlessness will pay off in the long run by far. Just, it's just a mindset. Get it in your mind. Visualize what you, where you want to go or what you want to do with it, and get a good instructor in your corner, and that's that will get you there. So, I think that'll do it for today. This is our augmented scale. minor third half step scale symmetrical scale six note hexatonic scale several several names but the the abilities or the <coughs> the abilities it gives you to color those chords and those tunes is is very very nice and very very good so so use it and I've got a bass line coming up shortly that I'm coming up with utilizing the, but 
I've got to work out a few kinks. So that'll be coming up soon. All right, so I'm Donald Witt. I want to play bass.com. Check it out. Sign up. Subscribe as well because it has a free ebook there how to set your bass up for success. So subscribe down below here also and comment. Let me know what you know about the augmented scale and the, the roots of it. And if you don't know anything, let me know what you don't know. All right. Thank you all.